Office of the Inspector General releasing footage in a preliminary report today on the deadly use of force during a police involved shooting that happened in Ansonia. Happened Sunday night after a miles long chase that started in Bridgeport. News ace Catherine Hauser is here now. Catherine, you learned the identity of the suspect. Uh, in that shooting, right? Yeah, Darren, we did. The inspector general says that the suspect killed in this case is 41-year-old Jonathan Bell. And according to that preliminary report, police tried to pull over Bell in Bridgeport, but it turned into a chase along Route 8, ending with a crash in Ansonia. And we want to warn you that this video is difficult to watch. He's on Vision Street northbound. Police body camera and cruiser footage shows the moments that led up to a deadly police-involved shooting last Sunday, February 4th. The inspector general says Bridgeport police were pursuing 41-year-old Jonathan Bell for a weapons and narcotics investigation that began in the Park City and ended with Bell crashing his Mercedes into this home in Ansonia. An officer shatters the car windows. Shut it off! With sirens blaring and eventually guns drawn, you hear multiple officers yelling for hands up. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! You then see Bridgeport Police Officer Roberto Rivera open a car door, pulling a female passenger out of the Mercedes. The inspector general says officers reported that Bell was reaching for an object and refused to show his hands. You can then hear multiple gunshots. Shot fired! Shot fired! The report says three Bridgeport officers fired their handguns, striking Bell. Bell was taken to an area hospital. The medical examiner says his cause of death was gunshot wounds to the head and torso. And Bridgeport's police chief, Roderick Porter, did release a statement saying, quote, I have the utmost confidence that the Office of the Inspector General will ensure a thorough, transparent, and impartial investigation. Regardless of the circumstances, loss of life is tragic. Our sincerest condolences go out to the family of the deceased. The Bridgeport officers involved are all on modified duty. This is until a determination is made on the use of force by the Inspector General. I'm Katherine Hauser, News 8. Catherine, thank you.